Welcome back in Tech Devs Studio and in this video I'm going to demonstrate you how you can basically export a game for your Android mobile by using Unreal Engine 5.5.4 which is the latest version of Unreal Engine series currently. So first make sure you choose a location at here make sure to choose a target platform is mobile and the quality preset should be maximum or scalable it depends on you depends on your need. If you want the HDR and high quality visual you should use maximum if you think that no you want optimized and you want to target mid and low range devices yeah typically unreal engine doesn't support low range so right now with 5 series so you can choose scale to get more better visual and also to get more better performance actually rather than the visual and if you if it doesn't matter you create a c plus plus or grouping both are processes are same once you do that simply click on create a project now it will take a while to load up if you're doing first time but you if you already did a couple of time already so it's going to be automatically pop up in just a minute and also make sure whenever you create a project well let's try to keep the project name short because uh sometimes you some of people create a project name which suppose your gaming is like my battle royale do, uh, game so you give it my battle royale game right now like this just keep it a battle royale so it's going to be short the project name doesn't going to be affecting your game actually that's why once you have this thing in a first page, you will find something like this. Or if I just give you, show you the default loadout of Unreal Engine 5 space, which is typically you'll be see something like this. Now, once you have this thing, just simply create a map because by default, which map you will have, it's basically for the a war partition map, which is you don't need. So you can just simply create a simple map called map and double click and open it. Uh, and if you already have a project and you know already have the all the maps and stuff you don't have to do this to all the stupid thing it's just for a beginners okay okay now i'm just adding a landscape to show uh show the visual and a simple basic light to see the ground and a skylight and also i'm going from the engine i'm going to drag and drop the engine sky which is help me to visual the sides like this and also make sure some of uh, some of people um forget to add the player start location so make sure you have st player start location in your thing about the game modes it's not important actually it's by default going to be spawn anything if you don't have anything so which is basically the typical game mode so whenever you don't have any game modes it's basically pop up with this okay otherwise it's based on the level okay once you have this thing you can go to the project settings and from the project settings if you are doing for development version i'm showing uh, for the development version export okay so you have to go to the packaging scroll down at share never click this full rebuild otherwise it's going to be recompile everything for four to five times at share install pre-install installer just remove this thing we don't need the pre-installer then support target platform from here just keep the ios you can disable others platform because we don't need then scroll down simply and at share on the android settings sdk set up the sdk ndk jdk make sure it should be like this if you don't have those you can see in currently for my case it's showing the take the studio sdk because i'm using my own so if you want my one i'll check the description link below i'll give there already so you can download from there and then go to the android click on config now at here make sure the com dot package name data is so important so you should keep it like this com dot suppose my company name is take david studio so i'm giving take their studio okay uh but never write something like this that is studio 456 okay never write this thing always keep in a small letter okay and after that the store version other thing is for the uh, production you don't have to worry about this thing this is actually your game name you're going to keep it okay but highest for the google play store is 30 liters to 50 liters and for the apple it's highest 20 liters so you have to keep it in mind to keep the game name short suppose like my name is let me give take david studio take Dave studio okay <clears throat> about the api levels which is by default you can say 26 which is minimum supported by unreal engine uh, 5 series and the target rate should be 34 otherwise you can't be uploading your game in a google play store or even sometimes it's give it the uh, error as well add packaging data inside of apk yes give it yes and also sometimes this one is required which is use external file directory for an religion files give it take because important as well scroll down we don't need app files for this one 
and yeah for welcome support you can unclick because this welcome support is for low end device so yeah actually very low end device actually so it, it, with three estc pointers it's also work but if you think that it's in your device after the export is crashing you can enable the welcome support as well okay then scroll down at here you find the show launching image you can disable it also the allow the bluetooth control is disabled Let's scroll down a little bit and you find here that ESTC, DXTC, ATC. You have to keep it in mind currently from 2022 to 2025 data records, Google Play Store have 95% of ESTC DXTC supported uh, game or the device, sorry, uh, the device. So we don't need typically the DXTC or ETC2, which is basically like your package size as well. And um, once you have this thing, you can go to the plugins. And now from here, you have to disable some unless or useless plugins. Suppose first time search that Google. From here, we don't need cloud messaging and Google Gamepad, it's only for production version uh, cases. Otherwise, we don't need online subsystem. You can keep it, but I don't recommend because we are not using right now. Then search again that online. And at here, you find all of like others online platform and ETC. Make sure that all the Google are disabled then search that android from here uh, about this device profiling sector it's if it's if you're collecting the device temperature heat and etc status so we don't need that after the refi media player if you think that you are playing something like movie in your or like a video playing in by through your game so keep it that at that case otherwise disable this thing and then Android file server, we also don't need it's help you to hot load and the runtime with editor. So we don't need that. Make sure the Android runtime permission are there. Okay. And optional mobile library all are like this. Now what you have to do, just give a restart. Also in additional cases, you can use our TDS hero plugin, which is help you to export the game for uh, Unreal Engine or Android 10 plus suppose, because some of cases Unreal Engine game allow uh, something like um if i say the storage permission but it's not a uh, uh, pop up anytime others uh second thing you can see the second time it's opened me that that particular map so go to the project settings maps and modes and choose your map that you just created so in my case it's just a map so i'm putting it so whenever i'm going to play from my game or even after export always this map will be open first okay now we have pretty much everything and also last thing, if you want, you can enable the TDS Hero plugin. If you think you have that, uh, otherwise it's totally actually free. So you can, if you want, you can use that. Okay. Now just give, uh, go to the Android. At here, you find the ASTC option. Click it at here. Keep it at development. Now just package the project. Then choose a location where you want to export the game. So I already have exported version. So I'm just removing this thing. Choose a location. Select it. So sometimes it might be asked you to pop up. So just give it a skip and a skip and it will work. Now wait a, uh, at last for 30 to 20 minutes, depends on your processor, GPU and RAM and which type of storage you keep to your Unreal Engine, the engine and the projects. Uh, so in my case, the engine in a hard disk, but the project in a actually in a SSD. So which is typically some faster, it's combination. So it's for me, it's going to be take around 10 to 15 minutes uh so i'm using very good processor so that's why so all depends now on the real initiator compiles so just don't worry if it's taking more than a, a half an hour or a one hour just give it some time you'll see the uh export if you're still thinking that you know it's not happening anything then just cut it reboot your project and just restart also make sure whenever you're exporting the network is must be needed so make sure that your device is connected with a wi-fi or land connection otherwise the export going to be give you an error okay so just now let's wait in while and let me show you okay so at the final you can see the export has been done so pretty much you'll be see something like this kind of like log uh so to get to understand more a little bit like if it's getting success you typically see this kind of like command that tasking tasking so it's mean that there's a no more issue you are going to get your apk and at the end, whenever you see kind of like this, it will give you a return of your package name with the name and say that tried beta and install bad file. So it's mean that it has been completely and you find last day this build.success. And now, now whenever you go to inside of it, you find the APK plus OBB package in your game. Okay. 
So it's now around 226 MB. So that's all. So I hope you understand how to export your key, uh, EBK for mobile. And see you next video. And bye bye.